children it is mr moorhead i am uh, happy to introduce the battle of midway for our lesson now that um we're trying to keep these lessons to about 30 minutes i'm going to make this super short um, in order for you to watch the video a lot of people don't think about it because the war between the united states and japan really lasted the longest as far as any element of uh, World War II. So even after Germany surrenders, which we haven't even came close to, like Japan and the United States are still fighting. So they, they fight the longest really um, in history, maybe not the most months, it's not what I'm looking for, but at the latest period of history, um, 1945, they, they are still fighting when everyone else has stopped. But what a lot of people don't know about the war between the United States and Japan, that part of World War II, is Japan had a very difficult battle um, shortly after Pearl Harbor, and it's gonna be a very decisive battle. So this particular battle is going to change the entire course of the war. Now what I'm giving you next is an opinion, my opinion could be wrong, it was probably the most important battle as far as the Pacific theater goes. Um, the World War II in the Pacific with Japan and the rest of Asia. Probably the most decisive, most important battle. So that is the Battle of Midway. Now, one of the things I used to do when we were in traditional class is I would ask a question. We got a pretty popular game. You see it here. It's uh, a battleship. So I would always ask the question, the United States has far and away the most powerful military, by far and away the most powerful uh, Navy. Like our number of aircraft carriers almost double the next closest country. But how many battleships do we have since we are that powerful? I would get answers like 100, 50, 75. The answer to the number of battleships we have is zero. Like we play, you sank my battleship. The battleship is not all that important. In fact, we don't have any anymore. In World War II, they started to lose their importance. Even people back then looked and said, yeah, we, this battleship, there's gonna be a point in history where we can't really use it anymore. Now here's the problem with a battleship. Planes still flew low enough that you could shoot them with, a, uh, with like a high powered uh, type piece of artillery, okay? They still flew low enough, but it was very difficult back then. Eventually, planes are going to fly so high that a battleship can just simply not shoot them. They fly so high and so fast, I should say, a battleship can't shoot them. So it's kind of a sitting duck for a plane. So even along the time of World War II, we see the importance of the battleship slowly starting to disappear. The aircraft carrier is where it's at. And the reason why I bring all that up and we watch the aircraft carrier video is the Battle of Midway is going to be arguably the first battle in history where the boats don't see each other. Boats are fighting, but they don't actually see one another. The fighting is gonna be done completely from the air, from, from airplanes launched from the aircraft carriers. So we're gonna take a look at the Battle of Midway there's a couple objectives that I want you to know. Um, first, I need you to know, like, where is Midway? The video will tell you that. So where is Midway? The second thing, what makes this battle so important? So where is Midway? What makes the battle so important? And finally, what is the result of the battle? I need more than, than who wins because battles are won and lost in a war. A lot of times a country may lose a battle, but they win the war. But there's something different about the Battle of Midway. World War II has changed after it. You need to be able to tell me what is the result and kind of like, how's the war look different now because of Midway? So again, please watch the film. Um, this film is not really old, but sadly enough, a couple of the people in the film are no longer with us. 
So if you do have the chance to meet a World War II veteran, um, they're becoming fewer and fewer. I used to uh, have uh, World War II veterans come in and speak uh, to my class. And even several of them got to an age, they're still alive, but they got to an age where they can't readily come in and do that. So if you ever have the opportunity to meet these people or to speak with these people, please do. All right, I hope you guys enjoy the movie. Um, oh, one other thing. Uh, you'll be watching this movie over two days. Watch probably 20 minutes today and then watch the rest of it on Friday. Thanks, guys. See ya. Bye.